Dennis Pitsenbarger from Power Auto Media, and we're here at the 10th Annual Edelbrock Car Show in beautiful Torrance, California. Come take a walk with us and check out the great people, the great cars, and all the fun we're having right here. It wouldn't be a car show in the Southern California sun if I didn't sit in the 32 convertible. What does this show mean to you, Brian? Well, I was born and raised in Southern California, Dennis. I've been part of the car culture my whole life. I'm a hot rodder at heart. And what better place to be than at Vic Edelbrock's garage on a Saturday afternoon? This is, uh, this is Southern California. Beautiful day, great cars. The heart of a hot rod, Dennis, is a great motor. Now, this one is different. It's a Lexus motor, but it is a great motor. When it was built by Toyota Racing Development, it turned 9,500 RPMs in the engine dyno. Makes great power, great sounds. Made into a six-speed, what better thing for a hot rod? One of the best parts of the show is the ability for customers to have a chance to talk to the people one-on-one. -on -one. Ron is one of the technicians here that has an opportunity to talk to the customers. How important is that for you? It's always a good idea so they can actually one-on-one -on -one with us, all our products, the lines that we have, and we actually get to meet our customers and show them all our new products. We're all here to answer questions and happy to. One of the cars that we had to come by and spend some time with is on the event shirt. It's Robert's 1969 Barracuda, and this car has a great story, and it all starts in 1968. In 1968, my parents bought the car brand new, and it was my mom's daily driver that took my brother and I to school every day. When I was 16, the car became mine, and I drove it for a few years before putting a 340 in it and racing it for about a year or two, and then put it in mothballs for about 10 years. Then when I discovered a South Bay Mopar car club locally, I got the car out of mothballs, drove it for another couple years before I did the combination I currently have, which is a 2003 Dodge Ram truck engine in it. So we now have modern technology in an old classic car. I knew the minute I saw it, I had to walk up and talk to the gentleman who owns this car, Mickey, the owner of this 48 Woody. Mickey, tell me a little bit about the car, and obviously there's a special tribute within it as well. Thank you. It's a 1948 Ford Woody. I've had it about 15 years. It's got a small block Chevy, all new powertrain underneath modern car, power disc brakes, Mustang too. What does it mean to interact not only the beauty of the hot rodding community, but also to pay tribute to our fallen soldiers? What does that mean to you? Well, it's, it's, my, it's been my duty since I didn't serve. I was a 4F during Vietnam to uh, been honored to serve the Marines at Camp Pendleton in the Combat Engineer Battalion. So I've gotten a flagpole of flags and fallen boot tribute, including dog tags for uh, 10 Marines of the 1st Combat Engineer Battalion. Well, if twin superchargers don't get you going, I don't know if you're at the right place, but I know Mike is at the right place. Talk about this incredible car. Well, it's, uh, my dad and I built this car. It took us about five years to build it. Uh, it's got a, uh, a 502 Keith Black uh, engine in it, Chevy engine in it, and it's fuel injected, uh, dual Paxton superchargers. Uh, the superchargers fit on about four and a half pounds of boost each one. It's uh, set up for drag racing, but it's also street legal. At 3,800 RPM, is, it puts out about 1,000 horsepower, so we estimate between 12 to 1,500 horsepower for the street. You talked about building this car with your dad. Talk about how important it is to have family continue this tradition of hot rodding to the next generations. So being with my dad was very important and I, I learned an awful lot from him and through him I, I was able to build cars and do uh, phenomenal things in my life. You know, it's just, uh, it's just, uh, it's a great experience and it, it's, it's something that the, the, the future generations really need to concentrate on working with their fathers and doing, it doesn't matter what it is, as long as you're working with your dad, it's a great thing. I am here with the one and only Vic Edelbrock Jr., a friend, a patriarch of all things hot rodding, and uh, once again, I am lucky enough to sit and talk to you. Vic, the thing I got to ask is, after 75 plus years in business, 10 years of this car show, it has got to amaze you of the, the outpouring of support for what you do, your place in history in the automotive world. Can you put that into words for us? Well, thank you, Dennis. Uh... I am uh, very, very proud. My father taught me, make what you would run on your car and, and look people straight in the eye and tell them it does work. Uh, and I do that. 
and uh, I look up at my dad every once in a while and thank him very much for what he taught me because that really, really helped me. So it, it just, it's just, it's a thrill. I mean, to be at the this, this show today after 10 years and listen to the people and their compliments and it's made in the USA, I'm so proud and all that, it's just really, really something. So I'm very happy to be where I am. Uh, and I got a great family behind me, and, and everything has just uh, really worked well. But you got to work at it. This didn't happen in one day. It took a lot of work and a lot of things to do it, and it still takes work to keep it going to where you want to go. Well, that's going to wrap up this video at the 10th annual Edelbrock Car Show right here at Edelbrock's headquarters. We want to thank Vic Jr., Christy, and everyone involved in the fun team. It's hard to think that even years ago, my career started with Hot Rod Magazine right outside these doors. And as Vic Jr. said, if you want it, go out and work for it, and you can make your dreams come true. On behalf of everyone here at the car show, including everyone at Power Auto Media, we thank you so much for watching. We'll see you soon.